Hey, hello there. Today I want to talk about question 677, map sum pairs. Uh, we want to implement a class called map sum, which will support two methods, uh, insert and sum. So it's a pretty much a very simple key value storage. The insert is the write operation, the sum is the read operation. So the uh, let's look at, keep reading. The insert method will be given the key value pair. The string is the key, the integer is the value. Uh, so we want to remember the key value mapping. Um, if the key already exists, we want to update uh, the, uh, the associated value to be the newly given up value. So uh, this insert handles both insert and the update. Uh, then is the read method, the query, the sum method here. Uh, we'll be given a string represent a prefix. So we're doing kind of a prefix matching. We want to return the sum of all the uh, all the values associated with the key that starts with that prefix. So uh, looking at example, uh, so the, we initialize this data structure, we insert uh, the first key value pair, apple to three. So when we do a query uh, using AP as the prefix, because AP matches uh, uh, APBLE in the prefix kind of a sense. So we know that apple has the value three, so we return three because this is the only uh, key value pair we currently have now, now, and AP actually matches that. Now we insert another new key value pair, APP, uh, th let the value be two. Now, if we do the same query, sum AP, because AP matches both Apple and APP in the, in the prefix sense, so we add those two value together and return the sum, which is five here. So the obviously the very obvious way to do to solve this problem is to um, just uh, uh, use map map string to value. Uh, so that's the insert. The time complexity for this is almost a constant. All we do is just take the string to a hash and uh, create this uh, key value mapping. It's almost a constant. Uh, the query sum uh, is to do this uh, prefix mapping map matching for key in keys um, if uh, uh, if uh, key dot starts with the query then we um, you know answer add this value something like something like that so uh, we're gonna have a loop to iterate over all the existing keys in this data structure and for every key, existing key, we will match that, uh, try to match that with the prefix. So let's say the prefix is of a size L, the length of for the prefix. Uh, then we have n key in total. Uh, this thing would cost uh, uh, n, n multiplied by L in time. So, so we can see here this uh, very simple approach using a, uh, just using a, uh, a map to store the key value association. Uh, have the sum to be the sum here has to be quite heavy on the time complexity. It has to check all the keys, uh, so it's not so ideal. Uh, so let's think about uh, how we can actually speed up uh, this uh, query. So since that we are doing prefix uh, uh, query, uh, instead of just inserting the single key value pair, we can insert all the prefix to the same uh, same value mapping. Uh, if none of those existing yet, if it's a, if the prefix exists, then we're gonna do some update. So let's talk about uh, we're just gonna do. Um, uh, so this is called uh, this second approach is gonna be I'm going to show how it looks like. So if we insert apple 3, so instead of only have one entry in the key value mapping storage, apple to 3, uh, we're actually going to do a to 3, ap to 3, uh, app to 3, appl to 3, and also apple to three.
So the next time when we search for uh, anything that starts with AP, P, AP uh, we can just directly grab the value here. Uh, so if we insert another another key value pair, AP to APP to two, uh, what we're gonna do is to uh, basically follow the pass here and uh, updating here to be five and five and five because we're adding two now. Uh, so if we search for AP, the prefix uh, AP, uh, we're just gonna directly grab five. Uh, let's talk about another thing uh, update. Uh, let's say that we insert APP equal to 1. This time, um, what we would do is to do some kind of uh, adjustment to, to all the nodes, uh, not all the nodes, all the prefix uh, have uh, key value pairs here. So we know that APP used to be 2, but now it's 1. So the difference is uh, uh, 1 subtract by 2 equal to negative 1. So uh, for all the prefix in APP, we're going to decrement uh, the value by 1. So after this update, uh, uh, if we do the prefix uh, query for uh, anything here, it should return the correct value. So we can see here we use a lot more space and uh, the insert is now uh, no longer constant anymore. So this insert now takes. Uh, uh, we have to consider all k, all, all k. All, I'm using l, right? Uh, all l different uh, prefix uh, for the key, and uh, if we if we using C plus plus, we might have constant uh, slice. But for most languages, it's uh, the string is immutable. So the take the slice, take the prefix, it takes uh, also linear time. So it will be in this case, it will be l square time. Um, but the good thing about the, this is that the, the query is constant. So the difference between this approach one and approach two is that uh, one is uh, uh, really light on the insert, but the, the query is uh, the read is uh, uh, complex. Second one. We basically are treating space and uh, the time on the insert to speed up uh, the uh, read. So the read is now constant, but the insert is uh, uh, the the key size squared. So um, so we got some trade off there. Um, if, so the question is now: Is there something that are kind of in between? Uh, maybe ideally both linear in terms of uh, read and uh, write. So, so if in our application, the, the, this key value storage is used to support uh, sort of balance the read and write, uh, we want to approach three. So notice uh, how this looks like here uh, in, the, in the second approach. Uh, we basically create a, a pass, sort of like a pass inside the try. Uh, we have a root node points to A, A points to P, P points to another P, uh, that P node points to have a children uh, start with uh, that has a key of uh, L and, and so and so forth. Um, we will just, uh, if we use try, uh, we can just store all those uh, uh, prefix uh, to the value kind of association um, just as uh, the, just put the number as a one of the properties for the try node inside the try data structure. So that way, uh, we essentially store the same information as uh, as prefix hash, uh, but uh, the insert is going to be linear time. We just uh, go one pass uh, through the the uh, following the you know the the key or the query, uh, do a linear pass inside the, the try and updating the values for the nodes on, along the way. So if we use try, the insert is going to uh, the time complexity is going to go down from L squared to order of L. But the, the sum, uh, we no longer can directly look up uh, the uh, prefix to value mapping. We have to start with the first uh, character and do a linear pass inside the try to grab the value. So so that's um, uh, sort of like a balance in between. The uh, we, ha we now have linear time insert and linear time uh, query. 
So let's uh, just quickly put it in here. Uh, approaches three is to use try. To have uh, order of L in both insert and the song. Uh, I guess it depends on the real application use case. Uh, you, you can choose either one of those that one of the three approach that uh, satisfy uh, the needs the best. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just code the, the try solution because it's uh, the one that requires the most code. So we're gonna define a try node here. I'm just subclassing the default dictionary, so the try is uh, more dynamic. Uh, we only insert this character to, uh, you know, the next character to the uh, node association when we really have to. So the space is uh, uh, growing dynamically, even though it will be slower than pre-allocation. Uh, so uh, we're gonna set the, the constructor of the default factory to be the uh, try node itself. And every node will just have a value associated with it. So it's like uh, the node A will have a 5, node P following node A will have another 5, node P following the previous node P will also have a value of 5 associated with that node. So that's this uh, slot here. Initially, every node would just have a value 0. Now we initialize this key value of storage. Uh, all we do is to create a root node here. Now let's code the, the insertion. Oh, um, something that uh, we need to do is for either two and three, the approach, we also need to keep the same key value pairs as the first one uh, because the update here, uh, remember that uh, when we insert up uh, app to two, uh, we just uh, go, e we, we either update, update all the uh, prefix hash in the second approach uh, to have all those add to. Um, in the try, we just uh, follow the try pass to update every node value to, to increment those by two. But when we have a update, uh, we have to figure out uh, what's the previous value and t uh, calculate in the delta, uh, use that delta to update uh, all those prefix. Or, or in try's case, it's updating all the values for the nodes on the pass. So for that reason, we want to store the, uh, the key value pair. Uh, we can we can we can do a single pass in try to grab that, uh, or in the prefix hash. Uh, sorry, in the in the prefix hash, it's always there. Uh, but in the try, we could either do a linear pass to grab that value, um, or or we can use extra space to store that. So um, uh, so if we actually just uh, do a traverse to grab that, uh, then figure out the delta and do another second pass, uh, the insert is still uh, linear in, with respect to the size of the input. So, um, but, uh, but if I can directly look it up, uh, it, it might be faster. Um, so I'm, I'm going to use a map to do that. Um, so this will be a, a, it's pretty much the key value pair. So it's a string to integer mapping. Okay, so uh, let's code the insert. Insert here is basically create a pass inside the try uh, if the character does not exist. Otherwise, we would just try to do the update. So uh, if the tree, the, if the pass does not exist, that means we don't have a key for that. Uh, uh, for that key here inside the try, um, that that's essentially meaning that we have a delta of uh, the value here. So, so to have the insert uh, that function for both insert and update, uh, we always going to be dealt with that delta. For a fresh new insert, the delta is just the value. 
uh, for a real update is going to be the difference between the uh, new key and the old key. So if we don't have that key, the default dictionary will return a zero. So the difference is uh, pretty much the value itself. Um, so this will make sure that the insert works both in the new case or the update case. Uh, so the insert is uh, just going to uh, do a single passing try. We get the node, which uh, initially is the root. for each character inside uh, the key uh, which is going to traverse, keep traverse inside uh, the try uh, no c char let's make, uh, make the code a little bit more readable and for every node here uh, we're gonna we're gonna set the update the value with the delta Yeah, so this should be the uh, insert. Okay, we uh, we should also update this as well. Um, remember the new value for the key now. Um, this for loop is to do a linear pass inside the try, and uh, for every uh, every try node along the way, we update the value with the new delta. So that's the insert. Uh, you can see here it's a log of L time here. For the sum, it's uh, it's going to be the same situation. We're going to grab the root node, um, and uh, for for every character in the prefix, uh, we're going to do a quick check. If it's not there, we should return. What we should return. We should return zero, right? Because there is no value associated with that key. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to follow that pass. Um, and uh, once we exhausted all the character inside the prefix, we will land in the uh, in the node that we can just uh, directly return the value. Uh, I'm not sure. Should we return zero or something here? It doesn't say in the question. Hmm, let, let's see if the code works. It, it's working. Uh, let's try to do a test case when we have a prefix that's not existing here. So we insert Apple 3, we try to query APX. What kind of thing it should return? It should return 0. Okay. So this has, I think it's better to just um, make a quick note here if the prefix does not exist uh, we should return zero all right uh, so it seems to working uh, let's submit it okay it's working um, so uh, yeah it's um, it's not a hard question and uh, uh, the good thing about is uh, about this question is that uh, uh, we have three different uh, uh, time complexity uh, decisions that we can account. We have three different approaches, which uh, they they all have their trade-offs. Even the most the straightforward method uh, can be useful uh, if we are dealing with a uh, really write-heavy but rarely read kind of situation. But for the for the second one is uh, uh, read. You know, there are the trade-off. The write uh, is slow. Uh, but the the read is super fast. Uh, the one that I code here using try is sort of like uh, uh, in between. Um, so I guess it's some. This should be uh, maybe like a default option if we really have three different kind of options for this uh, key value storage. All right, so that's uh, this question today.